Okay, so last one. It's just a straightforward, uh, again, the fact that you have to look up things in tables, look up things in graphs. This is a, a lookup table. Um, and the equation you're going to use, I don't think Arnold talked about this in the lecture. If he did, I missed it. So first we if you go back to your tutorial sheet you want the equation uh because we are looking for the largest torque. So we're gonna rearrange this equation here. And then the question is what's this C one? And in this particular case it's a lookup table that you use for rectangular bars. And he's given you on your tutorial sheet this lookup table here. Okay. So armed with those two things, all we need is some simple rearrangement. So the talk is going to be the allowable stress, which will be the same as my maximum stress, C1 times A times B squared. A has to be bigger than B. Okay, so that's A. There, that's B. For the other cases, it doesn't matter. They're square. When A divided by B is 1, we are going to use this C1. And 64 divided by 25 is 2.56. How accurate do you want me to be? So it's going to be somewhere between here and here. So I've got 2.56 uh, I could make a rough I mean I would just be tempted to like go oh, it's 2.56 just round it up a little bit. If I was doing it more accurately, then I would say 67, take away 56. Divided by 5. And then times that by point six which gives me point zero eight add that on to five uh, Two five eight. Okay, so if I was doing it accurately, I would get two five nine. So uh, going for my guesstimate of point two six, I think it's it's going to be fine. All right. So, first one, is 40 megapascals. 
point two zero eight. A and B are the same. So power three, second one. Again, 40 megapascals. This time we want to use 0.26. A is 64 times 10 to the minus 3. And B is 25. And then the last one. What am I using for for the equation that okay, I might have to skip the last one. I don't think you've been given the formula on your formula sheet. Let's go back. That's for regular bars. Yeah, he hasn't given you anything about hollow bars, so we will just do the first two. Unless I can find it in the book. Okay, so... is in the book there. I don't recall that being mentioned in the lecture. So for the last one, use this. Well, that funny symbol at the end is the average Yeah, so the, that funny symbol at the end there, uh, don't know quite what that's supposed to be. 
is if you take a hollow square make one quite thick you want to know where the middle is uh, what can we call that uh, a mid and this thing here equals a mid squared. Okay. Uh, right, so same sort of arrangement. T you should be able to guess is the thickness. And what's the A mid going to be there? So half T gives you three. Okay, so you have 40. Take away two thicknesses, so that then gives you six again. So from here to here is going to be 40 take away six. So that's 34 millimeters. All righty, so 34 millimeters. So I'm just going to quote the results. So your first torque is given as 532 newton meters. Right, so the next one we'd expect in the lower torque 414 millimeters Newton meters and I don't believe it the last one we can apply a larger talk five 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 Newton meters Well, strike me down with a fur. Okay, I'll leave Arnold to explain that to you. I'm stopping there for tonight.